What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, B Boy Fast Channel TV, and tonight I'll go with my WWE Raw review and highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications when I premiere a brand new video at 3 o'clock Eastern Time, and um, follow my social media my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. Let's talk about Monday Night Raw. The first hour of Raw has been terrible, and the show itself gets a 3 out of 10. That's all I gotta say from there. Alright, so kicking things up with then, now, forever, together, the WWE video leads us into the show. The Raw video plays, and we go into the KFC Yum Center to, to see a big protagonist display. United States Champion Seth Freaking Rollins makes his way to the ring. Video package Bobby Lashley visually attacked Seth Freaking Rollins last week on Raw before Austin Theory attempt to cash in his Money in the Bank contract. Lashley then attacked Theory and Rollins pinned Theory to retain the United States Championship. Rollins welcomes to the crowd to Monday Night Rollins. Rollins get gets a huge reaction. Rollins introduced himself as as a visionary and a revolutionary. He is Seth freaking Rollins by the hair of his chinny chin chin. He is still the United States champion. Seth Rollins thanks Bobby Lashley. Rollins says last week was crazy. He put one little open challenge into the universe and he got containers coming out of the woodwork. He got people like Finn Balor, Mustafa Ali, and the almighty Bobby Lashley. For the first time ever, Austin Three tried to cash in his money bank contract on his on his United States Championship. That didn't turn out well for him. A loud a loud that was stupid chant picks up. Thank you to the crowd for saying that. Rollins says Theory will be out here later and they can tell him how stupid he is. Ron says something seemed different about the United States Championship as of late. The difference is Rollins. Now he's the United States Champion and this is the top prize on Monday nights. Rollins will, Rollins will add to his legacy when he goes one-on-one -on -one with a former friend, Finn Balor. Now, I must say this. Theory should have cashed in his money in the bank on Braun Breaker at NXT Halloween Havoc. And that's a fact right there. That's no, nothing but facts. But let me continue. Bobby Lashley interrupt him. Lashley says he turned he turned Selfie Boy into a punchline last week. As as for the beating he gave Rollins, I'll continue until he gets the United States Championship back. Rollins calls Bobby Lash calls Lashley Big Bob. Rollins says Lashley had his opportunity at the title last week, but he he instead tried to take Rollins' soul. Lashley temper has been awful lately. Maybe that he, maybe that has something to do with him losing to Brock. Then Mustafa Ali can't comes out with a referee trailing him. Lashley asks what Ali is doing. Lashley warns him that the beatdown he got last week will pal and. Con comparison if he comes into the ring. Lashley tells him to leave before he turn hurts him. That was awful by Lashley. Ali charged the ring, so Lashley elbows him in the face and throws him out of the ring. Lashley says that can serve a lesson for anyone that tries to get in his way. Ali runs in and jumps on his back, but Lashley just dumps him out of the ring. Rollins walks off. Lashley says he doesn't know if Ali is stupid or has a lot of guts. Either way, he's getting him pissed off. Lashley tells Ali they're going to fight next. All right, commercial break. Then we come back to Bobby Lashley versus Mustafa Ali. This match was awful. It it was awful. Um, the bell rings. The bell rings, and Ali quick. Quickly ambush Lashley with a draw kick. Ali goes for a whip, but Lashley puts the brakes on. Lashley viciously whips Ali into the corner and out of the ring. Lashley puts Ali on his shoulders, but Ali, Ali slides off and sends him into the ring post. 
Lashley quickly drops Ali into the timekeeper's area. Ali jumps on his back, but Lashley dreams him headfirst into the ring post. Lashley gets in the ring to break the referee's count. Lashley goes back outside and wildly turns Ali over to the commentary table. Ali, Ali gets back in the ring at the count of nine. A furious Lashley angrily grabs him by and grabs grabs him and hits a modified dominator. Lashley waits for him to get up. Ali elbows him back and dives at him, but Lashley counters into a furious one arm spine buster. Ali puts himself up on the ropes before I, before falling at Lashley's feet. Lashley easily lifts him and hits an epic. Epic, epic one arm spine buster. The crowd loudly chants one more time. Lashley sides him up and charge, but Ali twists twists over him. Ali hits a diving tornado DDT and gets to his feet. Ali charge, but Lashley spills him in half. Splits. Splits him in half with a spear out of nowhere. Lashley then applies the herlock and the referee calls for the match. The winner of the match, um, Bobby, the winner, the winner of the match, Bobby Lashley. This match was god awful. Kathy Kelly asked the OC if they're fair retaliation from the Judgment Day after me and Yim joined them to attack Rhea Ripley. Luke Gallo says he's responsible for bringing me and Yim in because he he has a way with women. Me and Yim rolls her eyes. AJ Styles says the Judgment Day has been a thorn in his side, side since WrestleMania when he refused to join them. Now he wants to end it. Styles challenged Finn Styles um Challenge Finn Balor to a match at Survivor Series. Carl Anderson says Styles will handle his business, just like Mia Yim would do tonight. Mia Yim tells them to keep the beers, beers on ice when she gets back from her return match. They do the two sweet posts. So we go to commercial break. So we get to Mia versus Mia Yim. Um, This match, I did not... Did not care. Before the match, the match begins. Miriam and Dominic Mysterio walk down to the walk down to ringside. Um, Tamia blindsides Miriam at the sound of the bell and hits a running hip attack. Tamina connects with a school slam and goes to the top rope for a super fire splash. Uh, but Miriam moves. Miriam punches away at Tamia. As she gets to her feet, Miriam ducks a close eye and hits a runner her Karana. Miriam hits a running boot to the corner and looks over at Rhea Ripley. Tamina goes after Miriam and they look absolutely lost as to what to do next. Miriam sends Tamina in the corner to the corner, but Tamina soon attacks. Damage control is shown watching backstage. Tamina lifts Miriam, but Miriam counters. With eat the V for the win. All right, the winner of the match, Miriam. This match, this match, I ain't really care about. Rhea Ripley smiles and approaches the ring. Rhea Ripley gets in the crowd, and the crowd is really buzzing. Rhea Ripley then shakes her head and leads to loud boos. All right, Matt Riddle is walking around playing his bongos when he finds Kathy Kelly. She asks where Elias is, but Real says she's out booking them gigs. Chad Gable and Oz walk up. Gable shoots him as Riddle Ripley th- Rhythm Kelly t- taps on his bongos. Gable says the only thing more ridiculous than Riddle is Elias being in being in a band is there being a tag team. Gable says he'll do what Otis did to Elias last week and puts him down. Matt Riddle will face Chad Gable next. Commercial break. Miriam is back is walking backstage when damage control stops her. They talk about her being an outcast like them. Miriam appreciates the offer the OC walks up with some beers and damage control walks off. Okay, replay our showing of Otis destroying Elias last week on Raw. Alright, so we get Matt Riddle versus Chad Gable. This match was good. 
The bell rings and Riddle circles him. Gable grabs a front face lock and rolls him around the ring. Riddle fights up and goes for a key lock, but Gable backs him in the corner. Gable chops him before hitting a back suplex for a two count. Riddle kicks at him, but Gable Gable hits a dragon screw. Riddle tries to fight back, but Gable hits a second dragon screw. Riddle Riddle fights back with some gut wrench suplexes, but Gable gets the knees up on a bro time. Gable attacks, but Riddle fights back. Otis Otis kicks over the ring steps and points at Riddle, who has climbed to the top rope. Gable then turns Riddle inside out with a inverted inverted super flex, superplex. Commercial break. We come back from the break to see Gable attacking Riddle's injured leg. Riddle kicks him away, but Gable quickly kicks him in the leg. Gable shoots the crowd, but Riddle comes back with a fisherman fisherman driver. Riddle and Gable ex- Riddle and Gable exchange blows while Shush shouting Bro and Shush. Riddle on lows on him kick on him kicks him back and Crushes him with a ripcord knee. Riddle keeps keeps up and hits a pair of running forearms. Riddle follows up with an exploder suplex and a bro time. Gable avoids a kick, but Riddle comes right back with a power bomb followed by another knee to the face. Riddle picks up picks up a near fall. Riddle sets up for a bro Derek. Um, but Gable slides through, takes Riddle down, and applies an ankle lock. Riddle rolls through and applies a triangle choke. Gable fights out and hits a Tiger DDT for a near fall. Gable goes to the top rope for a moonsault, but he lands on his feet. When Riddle moves, Riddle catches him with a hanging DDT. A... A um La Randy Orton gets I'm sorry, a La Randy Orton. Um Otis gets on the apron but Riddle knocks him off and kicks him in the face. Gable puts Riddle into the ring and rolls him up, but Riddle flips through. Gable catches him with a with a backslide pin, but I'm sorry, a backslide pin and puts his feet on the ropes. Otis holds Gable's feet and Gable picks up a single victory. The picks up a singles victory. The winner of the match, Chad Gable. This was a good match right here. This was good. JBL and Baron Corbin are playing poker with with an unwritten unwritten poor skull skull up. Corbin clean cleans the guy out. A waiter comes up with a with some Kentucky Kentucky bro Brian. But JBL says he doesn't want any terrible borrow bond. Akira Tozoa sits down and says he wants to play poker. JBL asks if he's ever played poker before, and Tozoa says he hasn't. JBL laughs and says his money is good here. That backstage segment was just terrible. Um, the Miss misses way to the misses way to the ring in a sweater jacket. Miss looks pensive. And humble. So we go to commercial bank. Um, the mist so many welcomes everyone to Miss TV, but he says he he's the guest tonight. Byron Saxon will be asking him the questions. Um, Byron Saxon starts to talk about the video from last week, but Miss reminds him that it was hidden camera footage take without his knowledge. Um, Miss says he has a. Pro- Prepared statement. Statement: A photo of his family is shown on the table. Miss puts on some fake eyeglasses to look more, at, and, authentic. Uh, Miss says he regrets playing Dexter Loomis. Byron has to interjects, but Miss wants to continue. Miss says he. Regrets playing Dexter Loomis, but all all he wanted was empathy. Miss has been here for eighteen years and never called in for a day off. Miss has never been injured for a long. 
even when he is injured, he still wound up in the ring. Miz never received a cheer. Miz tried to help Lewis get to his feet. Um, Miz has received a received very little. Loomis keep talking and talking, so Miz had to put a stop to Loomis. Greek. Brian Tyson asked why. He told a different story to the private private detective. Miz says he has to put on a performance for what he thought was a Hollywood producer. Miz fake crying and says he's been depressed. Johnny Gargano come, comes out and says Miz isn't depressed. Miz was on vacation with his family in Cabo. Miz asks if he had a private investigator for him. Gargano says Miz got caught in another lie. It was posted on the internet. Gargano says no one cares for Miz because he ta- he takes the easy way out. Miz asks why he asks why he's do it the hard way. Gargano says Miz paid Lewis to help people care about him. Gargano says Miz got caught up in the lie. Miz says he wants Gargano to be honest. Why is he in all of all? all on all this. Gargano is using Miz's story to Miz Miz's story so people chant Johnny Johnny Wrestling. A loud Johnny Wrestling chant picks up. Gargano calls him calls him Mike and says everyone knows he is complicit liar. Miz always has been and always will be. Miz lies about everything, starting with that sweater he's wearing. Miz shouts that it is a car car gang. Um Gargano says Miz is lying to himself if he thinks he's pulling it off. Um Gargano says Miz is trying to be Mr. Rogers, but Mr. Rogers was a good guy. Miz shouts that he is a good guy. Miz shouts that he's he's sorry. Now can they move on so he can be the cornerstone of this company and be a role model for his kids. Gargano says Miz can pay pay Des Lewis and move on. Gargano says WWE official find the footage for last week very completely compelling. It come to an end in two weeks when Miz faced Dex Lewis in this ring. If Lewis wins, Miz will pay him everything. He owns him. And Loomis will get a WWE contract. Miz says he accepts and will destroy him. It will be awesome. Gargano says Miz can tell Loomis himself. Loomis is revealed to be the cameraman and runs away. And Loomis snatches a car game. The camera, the camera angle was phenomenal. I must say this, this segment was pretty good. It was fine for what it was. Pretty good segment. Miss is sh- footage of footage is shown from earlier today with Kathy Kelly interviewing Shelton Benjamin. Dominic Mysterio walks up to him and says Benjamin is a failure. Benjamin has been a failure since his de- debut dad and Eddie Guerrero were on top. Benjamin tells Mysterio to go away before he gives Mysterio the beating his dad should have. Damien Priest stops, steps in the way and talks down to Benjamin. Mysterio points from behind Priest. Um, Benjamin accepts the challenge for from Mysterio. Now, in my, now in my own opinion, Shelton Benjamin versus Damien Priest, that match I would have been I would have been fine with it. But Shelton Benjamin versus uh, versus Dominic Mysterio, terrible decision right there. But but like I said. Earlier, I would have been cool if Benjamin would have faced Damian Priest. I would have been cool with that. But anyway, that's nothing but facts. Dominic Mysterio makes his entrance alongside Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley. Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio will face Shelton Benjamin next. Commercial break. Dominic Mysterio versus Shelton Benjamin. This Now, this match, I must say, it was... I, I, I don't know. This match was... This match was boring. Boring match. I'm going to say this is boring. 
The bell rings and they circle the ring. They lock up and Benjamin backs them into the corner before giving giving a clean break. Mysterio wallops him and quickly gets out of the ring. Damien Priest and Riri begin on the apron to distract Benjamin. Dominic Mysterio attacks Benjamin from behind and, and shimmies like Eddie Guerrero. Benjamin quickly fights back and takes him down. Benjamin sends him into the into the ropes, but he lowers his head and eats a kick. Benjamin quickly comes back comes back with a shoulder tackle and gets him to the gets him to his feet. Um, Dominic Mysterio pull quickly pulls himself out of the ring. Mysterio gets in the in the ring and kicks him before attempting a suplex. Benjamin counters with a snap suplex. Mysterio boots him back and starts to beg him off. Um, Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio kicks him and hits a jawbreaker. M- Dominic Mysterio punches away at him and pulls like Eddie Guerrero. Sheldon Benjamin fights back, but Dominic Mysterio hits a run in her karana. Mysterio hits a body scissors to the ropes. Mysterio goes for the 619, but Benjamin counters into a to a world power slam. Sheldon Benjamin hits a high knee in the corner, followed by an exploder suplex. Mysterio rolls out of the ring to recover. Benjamin goes outside and puts Mysterio back in the ring before talking trash to Damien Priest. Mysterio rolls Benjamin up as he gets in the ring. Benjamin kicks out and applies an ankle lock. Ripley gets on the apron to distract the referee, allowing Damien Priest to pull Dominic Mysterio to the ropes to break the hole. Benjamin yells at Priest, so Mysterio sends him to into the rain post and hits a DDT. Mysterio goes for the top rope and hits a frost splash for the victory. The winner of the match, Dominic Mysterio. This match was boring. A fear, a furious, a furious Austin Theory is pacing backstage. Commercial break. Kathy Kelly is backstage, backstage with Austin Theory, and refers to him as a as the former holder of the money to bank. Contract. Theory is furious about that. Theory says nobody understands him or the pressure he's under. They think he made he made for this because of the way he looked, is his athleticism, and, and the so called handed opportunities. Theory was told it as the next big thing, and he exceeded. That theory outgrew that he became the face of the franchise. The hate him. they hate him because the whole world wants to see a person like him fail. That won't happen. When when he thinks about last money, everyone thinks he fell. They they're wrong. Theory feels more alive than ever. Theory wants they wants to talk about money in the bank contract. It. It was an anchor on him. No one has been able to touch Roman Reigns for two years. The few times he looked vulnerable, vulnerable the bloodline is there to protect him. None of, none of his cash-in attempts went right. Derry had to think of something else. He had Seth Rollins defeated, but Bobby Lashley attacked him. Dolph Ziggler walks up to him and says he has heard so many excuses from him. Derry tells him to meet him in the ring, and he and he'll show that he has no more excuses. Ziggler says, "Sure, then, kid." Video package war games. Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss, and Oscar are scheduled to face Damage Control and Nikki Cross. In war games, more will be added to the match. Il Sky will face Dana Brooke next. Commercial break. A replay of a replay of a promo from earlier in the day by Dana Brooke is shown. She talks about how devastated she was that Nikki threw the WWE twenty four slash seven championship in the trash last week. The title is over. Thank God Nikki Cross did that last week. All right, so we move on. WWE Women's Tag Team Champion Il Il Sky accompanied by Damage Control and Nikki Cross versus Dana Brooke. This match was god awful. 
Then the brook comes out to to the gate hot, but Ill Scott quickly kicks her down. Ill Scott hits a springboard drop kick and kips up. Ill Sky punches away at her and hits a slingshot double knee. Dana Brooke blocks a suplex, but Ill Sky closed the back. Dana Brooke blocks a whip and they trade forearms. Ill Sky reverses a whip, but Dana Brooke comes back with a head scissor takeover. Ill Sky lands on her feet and hits a flapjack. Ill Sky goes for a springboard moonsault, but she lands on her feet. When Dana Brooke moves, Dana Brooke hits a DDT for a two count. Dana Brooke goes for a handspring back elbow, but Ill Scott counters into a German suplex. Ill Scott hits a meteor followed by the over the moonsault for the win. The winner of the match, Ill Scott. This match was awful. This match was awful. Mae Young walks out to the stage and she's she. I'm sorry, Mia Young walks out to the stage and says she thought about their offer. War games is, is a time when you have to pick a side and she pick hers. Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair, Oscar, and Alexa Bliss walk out and joins and join Mia Young's side. Now that part right there, picking the picking teams for war games, that part was good. Okay, we, we go backstage to see Akira Tozawa laughing. Her heart Tilly with a sack of cash and chips in front of him. JBL and Baron Corbin look disgust discouraged Tilly and disgusted. Corbin says he's going he's going all in. Tozoa has three of a kind. Corbin says he has three aces won't but won't show his cards. JBL shouts that Corbin won, but Tozoa stops him and shouts that. He's he's a cheater. Tozoa challenges Corbin to a match and runs off with the money. Austin Theory angrily walks out without his cell phone. Commercial break. So we get Austin Theory versus Dolph Ziggler. This was a good match. Theory sneers at sneers at Ziggler. Ziggler takes him down, but Derry gets to the ropes. Derry applies a side headlock, but Ziggler whips him off. Derry's shoulder tackles Ziggler down and hits the ropes. Ziggler goes for a leaf frog, but Derry catches him. Ziggler slides off, but Derry blocks a super kick and stomps him. Derry bounces him off the top turnbuckle and hits a backbreaker for a two count. Derry chokes him on the ropes. Ziggler fights back, but Derry takes him down for another two count. Theory applies a chin lock, but Ziggler soon fights up. Theory fights back and sends him into the ring post, post shoulder first. So we go to commercial break. We come back from the break to see Ziggler hit a spike DDT for a near fall. Theory fights back and hits a rack bomb for a two count. Theory goes for the A-town down, a -town down, but Ziggler counters into a sleeper hole. Ziggler chinches it in and it nearly puts him to sleep. Ziggler hits a famous serve for a near fall. Theory fights back and sends him into the ring post again. Theory is focused on and focused and sends him back into the ring post. Theory go goes to do it a third time, but Ziggler sends him into the ring post and hits a zigzag for a near fall. The crowd chants, this is awesome. Ziggler gets pumped up and puts and pulls himself into, I'm sorry, pulls himself to his feet. Ziggler sets up for a super kick, but Theory clean, cleans his cleans his clock, his clock with a very with a vicious right hand. Theory hits a a town down, but looks down at Ziggler. Theory won't cover him. Theory hits a a town down a second time. Theory just about form. Foaming at the mouth and starts to punch away at Ziggler. Ziggler rolls out of the ring to recover. Theory sends him into into the still ring steps. The crowd is furiously. Theory flips flips the stairs into onto Ziggler and he lightning immediately hit Ziggler hard in the arm. Theory bounced Ziggler off the commentary table a few times, so the referee calls for the match. The winner, no contest. I, now, I like this Austin Theory 
getting serious. That part that I like. I like this Austin Theory getting serious. Okay, the crowd lolly boost boost this time of event. Um events theory throws Digger into the timekeeper's area and a and Wiley throws chairs at him. WWE officials run down to pull him away. Theory backs away before charging and punches Ziggler more. Theory shouts that he's not a kid before furiously walk off. Now that match between um Austin Theory and Dolph Ziggler, the match was good. I enjoyed that. The match was good. Then JBL and Baron Corbin are walking backstage. Commercial break. Damage control Nikki Cross and are backstage. Rhea Ripley walk up to them. Rhea Ripley says, "If Mia Young is on Bianca's side, then she's on, she's on theirs." Rhea Ripley says, "Let's go to war." Damage control is thrilled. So we get Baron Corbin versus Secure Tozawa. This match is terrible, terrible match. Tozawa takes it to Corbin early, but. Corbin quickly takes him down. Corbin goes for a chosen, but Tozoa hits a DDT for a two count. Tozoa hits a missile drop kick for a one count. Tozoa continues to take it to Corbin, but Corbin eventually hits ends up days for the win. The winner of the match, Baron Corbin. This match was terrible. All right, replay are showing up. Rhea Ripley giving Beth Phoenix a con chair to to add. Extreme Rules last month. Seth Freakin' Wallace will defend the United States Championship against Finn Balor later tonight. Commercial break. Replay are showing, are showing Theory, Austin Theory beating down Dolph Ziggler. Kathy Kelly is backstage with Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, Asuka, and Alexa Bliss and Mia Young. She asks about their fifth member, but Bianca Belair says she won't reveal her secret. Chad Gable and Oz walk up to go, to gloat about their victory, but but United States Champion Seth freaking Wallace interrupts them signing. I mean, singing. Um, Byron Saxon catches up for, catches up with Finn Balor backstage. Finn Balor accepts AJ Styles challenge and says he's going to win the United States Championship now. Finn Balor um, makes his entrance the main event is next. Commercial break. So we get the United States Championship. Ben Balor versus Seth freaking Rollins. This was a pretty good main event. Seth Rollins quickly wrenches the arm, but Balor takes him down. Balor gets to his feet. A let's go Rollins champ picks up. Balor hits a race lock takeover before applying a chin lock. Rollins fights up and tries to whip him off, but... But Balor hangs, hang, hangs on. Balor hits a headlock takeover. So Seth Rollins pulls him over for a one count. Balor rolls over and keeps the side headlock applied. Seth Rollins gets to his feet and whips, whips Balor off. Balor avoids two close arms, but he eats a back elbow. Seth Rollins throws Balor out of the ring and hits a plancha. So we go to commercial break. We come back from the break to see Rollins punching away at Balor in the corner. Rollins hits a rolling forearm, but, but Balor soon takes it to him and stomps him out of the ring. Balor goes to bounce Rollins off the commentary table, but Rollins counters it. Rollins grabs Balor, but Balor drills his ribs into the corner of the commentary table. Rollins screams in pain and holds his ribs. Rollins gets in the ring and Balor savagely stumps the mix session. Um, Balor sends him to the ropes and, and leads him in the in the injured ribs. Um, then Balor re repeats the move and takes him down for a one count. Balor continues to attack the ribs. Um, um, Finn Balor hits a snap mirror and knees him in the back before applying a chin lock. Um, Seth Rollins fights out with a jawbreaker, but um, Balor quickly fights back and applies an ambitional stretch. Finn Balor digs his elbow into the injured ribs. Seth Rollins fights out and slowly punches Balor. Seth Rollins chops, chops and punches him. But Balor reverses a whip. Finn Balor lowers his head and eats a kick. 
Seth Rollins needs Balor in in the back and sends him out of the ring. Seth Rollins quickly follows up with a suicide dive, sending Balor into the commentary table. Seth Rollins gets Balor in the ring and hits a springboard knee, followed by a dive-in clothesline for a two-count. Rollins goes for a stump, but Balor gets away. Balor charges, but, ba- but Seth Rollins crushes him with a super kick. Seth Rollins goes for a frog splash, but Balor gets his knees up and crowds him for a near fall. So he goes to commercial break. Back from the final break of the e- evening, Seth Rollins goes for the goes to powerbomb Balor into the barricades. The same the same move. That injured Balor at SummerSlam 2016. Balor gets out and drop kicks Rollins into the barricade. Balor gets Rollins in the ring for a coup de grace, but Rollins moves. moves. So Rollins goes for the goes for a stun, but Balor moves. Rollins sets up for a pedigree, but Balor fights out. Rollins hits a nasty sit out powerbomb for an air fall. For the second time this evening, the crowd chants, This is awesome. Rollins slowly puts himself to the top rope for a finish splash, but Balor moves. Rollins lands on his feet, but he soon abbreviates by a woo drop kick. Balor's head to the top rope, but Rollins catches him up there. Rollins hits a super pass and rolls through. For the Falcon Arrow, but Balor counters into the nineteen sixteen for near fall. Balor is irrit is irate. Um Balor viciously hits I'm sorry, Balor viciously knees Rollins in the injured realty and gets the referee pace. Rollins kicks Balor and goes for a pedigree, but but Balor sweeps the feet. So sweeps the feet. Um, Rollins avoids a double stump and goes for a bunker bomb, but Balor gets out of that. Rollins hits a hits a falcon arrow on hits a falcon arrow for a near fall. Balor's shoulder weren't shoulders weren't down weren't both down it in tightly, so the referee don't count. Corey Grace does a great job explaining how that misstep gave Balor a moment to recover. The Justin Day run down to ringside. Ballard takes Ballard takes Rollins down, followed by following the distraction. The OC and Mia Young run down to even the odds. They be they all begin brawling. Carl Anderson Carl Anderson chased Dominic Mysterio into the ring into the ring and close on him out of the ring. Balor then close lines Anderson out of the ring. Damian Priest wipes Anderson out with a shoulder tackle in the ring. Balor hits his runs with a wool drop kick and goes for the goes to the top rope. The referee is distracted, so AJ Styles pushes Balor off the top off the top rope. The OC and the Justin Day brawl into the crowd. Back in the ring, Rollins crushes Balor with a stomp to retain the United States Championship. The winner by pinfall is still the United States champion, Seth freaking Wallace. This was a pretty good, pretty good main event. All of a sudden, Austin Theory viciously attacks Rollins from behind. Theory hits a A town down and the crowd is lived. Theory bounces him off the commentary table and mocks Rollins, calling himself a visionary. Theory sends Rollins into the barricade and punches away at him. Theory lifts Rollins and hits another A-Town down. The crowd loudly boos. Theory. Theory calmly walks over and picks up the United States Championship. Theory sides Rollins up as he gets to his feet. Theory then wipes out Rollins with a belt shot to the face. Theory holds up the title as the crowd le- as the crowd voice voices voice voice fiercely boos him. And um Monday Night Raw goes off the air. Like I said earlier, Monday Night the first hour of Monday Night Raw was was terrible. Monday Night Raw gets a three out of ten. But three things I enjoy. Um Matt Riddle versus Chad Gable was good. The women's war, the women's picking teams for the war games, I enjoyed that. And then the main event with um with um 
um, Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor for United States Champion. And, um, and now, uh, yeah, then Austin Theory, four things. Austin Theory versus Dolph Ziggler. That was good as well, too. Four things I enjoy. I, I don't know why I say three, but four things. But anyway, um, if you guys enjoy my WWE Raw review on highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what are your thoughts on Monday Night Raw. Because the first hour of Raw was terrible, and Monday Night Raw gets a three out of ten. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications when I premiere this video at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. And follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And, um, and yeah, and I was, and yeah, and I will see you guys tomorrow when I go live on YouTube. So I will be going live on YouTube. And, um, there will, there will be no NXT. There will be no WWE NXT review on highlights. And that's all I gotta say from here. Um and that's all I gotta say from here. And I will be going live on YouTube tomorrow. That's all I gotta say from here. So make sure you guys be at my stream for you be in my live stream for my um for YouTube tomorrow. But anyway, um this your boy B Boy Fresh on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive and stay blessed. KFG crew, KFG Kings, too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.